So Diana Ross was going to be on that day. And this was, you know, where the show was on the road. We were in Phoenix. I think it was Phoenix. I'm not positive. And, uh, and you know, when you're picking up the whole show and you're moving it to a theater and the whole thing, you know, just everything's going nuts and, and the whole thing. And you got to learn twice as much music. And, you know, every band that comes on has their own music director and the whole thing. How do you want anything to go? So anyway, Diana Ross is coming. So this is huge. This is, you know, because she was going to be, she was the um, the halftime guest at the Super Bowl, so this made it even bigger. You know, we get her before the Super Bowl gets her, so this was huge. And so, so we're doing our thing, you know. And I was like, wow, I don't have to do anything. She got her own music director here. The whole thing, we're gonna, we're cool. The whole everything's just gonna be fine. You know, I can just sit back and watch it and the whole thing. So. Um, uh, right away, I can feel, you know, we go on for, you know, our daily rundown that things are not good. You know, everybody's going around crazy. Jay is, you know, walking like this back and forth, and everybody's got clipboards and headset, and, and nobody's looking up. Everybody's just, you know, and I just go like, oh, here we go. So, and I'm, nobody's asking me anything, and I'm rehearsing the music. I'm supposed to rehearse and the whole thing and blah, blah, and all that. And then, uh, you know, Diana Ross, she does her rehearsal and the whole thing, and, you know, everything's, you know, that took for, for took a while. But we got through it and the whole thing, and, you know, we probably have maybe an hour before the show really has to start or, or less, you know. So we're... <laughs> We're, we're, um, we're doing the, uh, I think it was, we're, we're somewhere in the middle of the show, or before the show, or some, something happened where uh, they were arguing about the dress that Diana Ross was supposed to be wearing. And it was a yellow dress or a blue dress or whatever it was, and this turned out to be this big, big, huge deal in the whole thing. And, um... They, uh, we, we got to her part of the show, and I don't know if this had anything to do with the dress or whatever, it was just so many things going on that day. And they came to me and said, um, Diana Ross won't come out of her dressing room, you know, and we're in the show, you know, she, she, she won't come out of her dressing room. I said, what are you, <laughs> and what are you talking to me for? I don't, I don't, I never met Diana Ross in my life, what do you, you know? This is somebody else's gig. I, I didn't, I don't have anything to do with that, Who, you know? And um, they said, well, we tried everything and we don't know what to do. She will not come out of her dressing room. She won't open the door. She won't come out of her room. And could you talk to her? I said, no, what, are, <laughs> what am I supposed to say to Diana Ross, you know? I said, well, you know, you have to, no, no, we, we can't, you know? So I go and I just like, I'm, I'm scared, you know, and uh, so I knock on the door, and, and then somebody, you know, they just say, what, you know, and I said, well, it's it's Kevin, I'm, you know, the music director for the the, the show, and I said, well, what? I said, I, I just want to talk to Miss Ross, if, if that's, you know, if they open the door, she come, come, and she's just sitting at her, you know, vanity thing, and, and, um, and I said, uh, Miss Ross, they asked me to come in here to talk to you about, um, you know, coming out, but I just wanted to meet you, and I never met you before, and I just thought this was a good opportunity to meet you. They asked me to come in. I don't know what to say to you when I ever met, but I love your music, and I grew up listening to the Supremes and everything, and when I tell my folks that I was in the same room with Diana Ross, they're going to be so impressed, and I just thank you for being here because I just wanted to meet you, and... I really don't have anything to say to you except, you know, it's an honor to meet you. And, um, and she said something really nice to me, you know, and, you know, like, oh, that's so sweet of you or something, you know. And I said, well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. It was really wonderful to meet you and, and good luck at the Super Bowl. I know you're going to, you know, you're going to do a great, you know, job. I'm going to be there, I'm, you know. And five minute, minutes after I came out, she just came out the room. And, you know, um, and they said, well, I don't know what you said to her, but, you know, and she, you know, she wore the dress. It was like nothing ever happened. It was beautiful and the whole thing. And it was, that was just one of those 
moments, I guess, you know, and all I could think about was I'm going to meet Diana Ross. And it helps the show. It, it, it did. I had no clue what was going to help the show. And I was just like, I get to see her <laughs> and all that. So some, some things like that happen, you know.